Friday. So I've had a change of plan with this frame. I was going to sell it and part it out. But I found the front diff. Um, I got the front diff and I got it in. And I got the uh, rear diff. Now this is out of a 1500. So I got to go back to the guy I got it from and get the, uh, the drive shaft that goes with it because this one's about an inch, an inch and a half. But yeah, so I got it all cleaned up last night. Um, and I got the other one all torn apart. So now I'm working on mine. I just pulled it into the shop. And we're going to uh, take the body. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I got mine in the shop now. Take this whole front end apart. Um, and this body is going to come off. We're going to roll the chassis out. The other one's going to roll right in, drop her down, bolt her on, put the front end back together. So, I got to take this out, that out, that out, this off, this off, and I got to strip this down right now and get it ready so I can lift it. Um, it's the same thing I did with the other one. Uh, some people said I couldn't do it. I like proving naysayers wrong. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. If it's possible, you can do it. All right, so I'll uh, check in with you as I get stuff done. Okay, so we got this whole front clip out of here. Rad everything out of here. We'll, uh, now we can, uh, we can work at getting the electrical free. Um, I got to take the dog house off because there's a couple of lines up there I got to do. Um, I've seen a couple of guys, they, uh, they undid the uh, AC and they strapped it up to the body when they lifted it. I did that with the other one and um, it was a pain in the butt. So what I did was, uh, I didn't have much of a charge in there anyway, so I just released that. Um, the AC wasn't working. So, I, uh, I took it off from here and then I unclipped all the lines from the rad um, and the cooler. So, this is what I'm looking at now, I think. Um, so now I gotta take off the brake lines here um, and then these, these back lines, these here too, okay? Uh, going down to the power steering pump. I'm gonna take those lines off and let them hang. Um, yeah, and what else do I have to do? A bunch of electrical, I gotta remove some electrical. And I'm going to refer back to the other, um, the other frame so I know exactly what I'm taking off because I took a little bit too much off when I did the other one. But that was the testing. So uh, let me get the dog house and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, good morning. Back at her there this morning. Uh, I had to leave last night. So um, the wires that I removed, if you haven't done this before, you have to remove your computer wire. There's a computer wire there, okay. <clears throat> and the computer sits up in here. There's just a latch on top. Pull that out and then uh, take those off. And then you'll see there's another big, there's another big line off the top of the engine. Um, so if, if you follow that line and disconnect all the connectors that along in that line and you'll get back to the fuse box. Now this here um, is right on the end of the fuse box right there. So if you undo the bolt and then pop the fuse box apart and this will come out. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to tuck those, I'll tuck those nicely up top. Okay. Uh, the brake lines, you have to undo the brake lines. So there's a line there and there's another line behind it. And then the power steering lines they are, there's one here, I don't know if you can see that, and then one on this side, in the back. Um, depending if yours has um, cruise control or not, you'll have two cables, you'll have a box right here and two cables coming off, okay? So you have to disconnect that from the motor. Um, if you look on the back <clears throat> of the rad and the condenser, 
I believe that's what it's called, um, you'll see a bunch of lines that you have to take. There's little clips. You just pull the clips out, pull these lines out, uh, free all that up, and then there's a wire harness that goes up across the top of the rad, goes from one side of the, mo of the uh, engine to the other. Um, you'll have to remove that, pull the lights, pull the lights out of the, uh, the front grill on both sides. You'll see there's lights. Pull those out. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Um, I had to disconnect the battery. That's the first thing you should do is disconnect that battery. Um, and then I had to the ground wire off of the side wall. <clears throat> And then you come over here and you look at this side of the motor. Um, there's that coming off of there. And there's this one. Hopefully you can see this okay. So, this one here stays with the frame. So all you got to do, I got three connections on this one. You may have a ground, because um, the other van had a ground on it. Um, but that's all there is to that one. There is... Okay, this here one here. This comes back and it connects right here onto the uh, <clears throat> fuse panel. Now, on the other van when I went to do this, I noticed that you can see all that rust and corrosion in there. I went to go and turn that off and it actually snapped this piece. So be careful. if it. Uh, if it doesn't want to move, you may want to get something on there to free it up um, so you don't snap things off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll up all these, the wires that are staying with the frame, I'm going to roll them up on top of the motor um, and the wires that are going with the body, I'll tie those off to the body um, and I'm ready to lift this thing. So that's all I had to disconnect up front. Um, I disconnected the uh, AC. If you have AC in your uh, vehicle and it is charged, you will have to, um, you know, go to a shop or something and get someone to discharge that for you. You don't want to let that off in the atmosphere. Now, mine, I had nothing in it, so it's no big deal. <clears throat> I knew my AC wasn't working because uh, last year um, I had no AC in the van, and we checked it out with the with a gauge here and it wasn't reading anything so um, and then uh, there's another sorry I never think forgot this other one uh, the small block here um, it actually goes right in here on the so you just have to disconnect that out and then follow it back and unplug everything that's going to it unplug all that stuff um, and that stays you can see it's attached to the frame, it's going to stay with the frame. So I'm going to tuck that back there with the frame so that when I lift it, everything is fine. I undid the bolt right here for the steering. Um, last time I did this with the other van, I undid that bolt expecting it to separate right here, but it actually separated right here. Um, and I think that's all there is to it. There was, what, here's my, my little bin of bolts. You'll have to pull all those out of the bottom. Um, and so, yeah, if you were gonna if you were gonna swap the motor on this thing, and you had a you had a two poster ho hoist that you could get and lift this body up really high, it's easier to swap the motor that way. <coughs> and me, I'm swapping frames because uh, the other frame has all-wheel drive and I want all-wheel drive for doing my trapping and stuff because I've gotten out a few fields there this year and gotten stuck. So, and not to mention, you know, when winter time comes, I can't rely on this van because if there's a lot of snow out there, well, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. Not without risking getting into an accident and I don't want to do that. It's not worth, uh, not worth it. So, I got some monkeying around because I got a single post hoist that I'm using right now. This isn't mine, I'm borrowing it. Um, it lifts up from the center. So what I got to do is I got to lift this thing up and I got to get the body resting on these, let the frame down, 
put some blocks in it, lift it back up, and then I got to get uh, some um, four by fours through so that I can have these sitting on the outside like this. The four by four is resting here holding this body up and then drop the frame out of it. And then I can roll the frame out. So I got a little bit more uh, screwing around to do than you would if you had a two post hoist and just lifted just the body and left the frame on the floor. But yeah, let me get at that. Um, oh, another thing you should remember is the gas. I disconnected the fuel hose underneath and then there is a, uh, a vent. I think it's a vent that comes up and it connects to the side. So I disconnected all that. And rather than that, she is coming out. So let me get this thing up in the air and see if I can't get this body off of this frame and then let her back down. And I'm going to try my hardest to get this frame out here. So if I can get that van steering this way when I let her down, I'm going to pull that frame out here if I can. If I can't, I'm just going to leave it alone and wait until I got someone else around to help me. Okay, let me tuck this stuff up and see if I can't get this body lifted. Okay, so I got a little farther ahead here. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you about is don't forget to take off the uh, shifter linkage from the tranny and then the uh, the e-brake. Um, I cut it because I couldn't get it out of there. Um, back tire was seized on so it was, instead of messing around I'll just buy a new cable. Uh, don't forget those two things when you go to do this. Now you can see I got the body off of the frame and I got her I got some shims in there or some blocks in there uh, to separate it. <clears throat> now what I got to do is I got to get two long beams through here um, pull these out pull the stands out past the wheels run the beams across and then uh, let her back down and then hopefully I can get this out without bending this all this knot. Um, I'm going to be dinking around for a little bit. I'll be messing around for a little bit, but um, like I said, if you had a different hoist, it would be a lot easier. I would have had it up. I would have had the other frame out of here by now, but with this center hoist that I'm borrowing, that's, this is what I got to do. Now, like I said, if I had a shop, I'd buy a two post lift. I would never ever do that because you can't get through the bottom of your vehicle, right? But that's his, so he did what he did. And he's letting me use it, so that's a bonus. All right, let's go. I'm going to go out in the yard and see what I can find out there. Um, then I can run through the I need eight and a half feet to clear everything. So let me go find that. Alrighty, so we got her all taken out. Here's the van. Pushed her straight out of there. Um, so that's the line I was telling you about. Don't forget to unhook that line. Um, and the e-brake is connected to the body and the frame, so you have to disconnect that. And where'd the other line go? And the shifter linkage, yeah, don't forget that. And that's all there really is to it. It's pretty easy. I'll be up here. Alrighty. So that's that. I'm gonna get my parts off of this one, get them on the other one, and uh We'll get it in here maybe tomorrow or the next day and we should be rolling again.